Mabunani, my name is Ziwo and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing my face for the very first time and you're interested in natural hair content, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notification bell for more content. From the title of the video, you'd have read that today we'll be debunking some natural hair myths. So if this topic speaks to you and you'd like to learn more, do give this video a like and let's get into the video. So the first myth is that sulfates are bad for our hair. So sulfates aren't necessarily bad for our hair. Using sulfates regularly is bad for our hair because they are very harsh and they can leave our scalp dry or irritated. So sulfates are clarifying agents, but you can also find substitutes for sulfates which are sultanes and there's many others, you can research them, but they are deep cleansing. So there's a difference between cleansing and clarifying. I'll make a video um, distinguishing the two but for now just know that sulfates are used to rid and strip your hair of any oils and dirt that may be found in it this is good to do every four to six weeks because it helps keep your strands from getting clogged and when they are your strands are clogged then your products that you're trying to use become ineffective your hair stops growing so it's important to introduce sulfates into your routine even if it's once every four to six weeks and not use them regularly because like i said they are a harsh substance and they can leave your scalp irritated and dry i might be biased on the next one but sticking to washing the next one is that co-washing is a substitute for clarifying or cleansing which is, is not i hate co-washing like one video you'll never find on my channel or on my instagram page is how to co-wash i hate it i'm against it and i'll never do it it's something that i find that is useless but to each their own so co-washing is not a substitute for cleansing or clarifying co-washing is more of a refresher like you know when you see your hair is dry you just that need that extra boost of moisture that's what i look at co-washing as but you do find coal washers that have light surfactants in them so they do get rid of some dirt but they won't do what cleansing and clarifying do for to your hair i feel like they add more product than they get rid of because it is a conditioner and conditioner is an added products that we put into our hair and it's made it's put in there to add moisture so you're not necessarily cleaning your hair you're adding moisture the next myth is that all styles are protective styles which is false not all styles that we do to our hair or put in our hair are protective a protective style is one that protects your hair keeps your ends tucked away is not too tight it's not pulling on your hair it's basically a style that does not do the things that cause damage to your hair i'll do a video where i go into depths of protective styles what styles you can do that are protective which styles that we do are not protective and why but for now just know that not all styles are protective so the next myth is actually one that also stuck that a lot of people stick by i don't know how this myth got into the mix of things because this is something that we used to do growing up and i don't know anyone who said they had problems with it but also keeping in mind that everyone's hair is different but i feel like we shouldn't have written it off completely because there are people who have long hair who still use this type of product so the myth is that products with petroleum or petroleum jelly are bad for our hair and they will clog our pores on our scalp because remember growing up we used to put vaseline on our scalp so that the whole thing is that putting these products in our hair will clog our scalp which is false because the molecules found in the vaseline or petroleum is too thick to be absorbed into our scalp so as a result it's not true i'll link a video in the description box that speaks more to the science of this because i watched that video and now i know that's how i know it's not bad because i didn't want to say anything before i had actual evidence so i'll link the video and you can also find out why this is not true but just for this video it's false. You can use petroleum on your scalp if you need to. The last myth that we'll be debunking today is that eggs and mayonnaise are a good source of protein for our natural hair, which is obviously false because yes eggs and mayonnaise do have proteins in them but the protein molecules are too big to be absorbed into our hair so basically they'll be not they'll they won't be doing anything for our hair in case maybe strengthening the outside i don't know if that's possible i don't think it's possible but yeah it's not they are not products that we use as protein treatments proteins that are absorbed into our hair are hydrolyzed which means they break the molecule down into smaller molecules and that way they are easily absorbed into our hair so hydrolyzed keratin hydrolyzed wheat protein and all those hydrolyzed types of proteins are 
to be considered as protein treatment and anything else should not be considered a protein treatment as protein molecules are too big to be absorbed into our hair also keep in mind that different types of hydrolyzed proteins do different things they also don't do the same thing if you want me to do a video that goes into depth about the different types of protein treatment and what they do do let me know in the in the comment section down below so that's it from me i hope you found this video helpful i hope it was helpful and if you did find it helpful do give it a like down below leave your comments in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram if you have any questions so that's it don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment even if you just leave like great that was nice i don't know it's just something simple like hi zero that's also fine but that's it for me and i'll see you on my next upload bye